So today's interview is Saira A. Parsa from the AI organization. How are you doing? I'm good, nice to meet you. Jim St. John, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm very grateful and it's an honor. Um, so first of all, uh, what is the AI organization and uh, when and why did you create it? I created it uh, initially in 2018 and the latter parts of it. And for the purpose of investigation and R&D, research and development, on artificial intelligence and quantum, cybernetics, bioengineering, and uh, bioweapons. So but not to develop bioweapons, but to detect <laughs> them and give intelligence that maybe the world's in danger from bioweapon. That's exactly what I did in 2019 before it came. I said that in, in a lab they were creating um, a certain bioweapon is going to be released within six months, and it happened just like that. <laughs> Uh, but Jeez. so it's basically providing risk assessments. Um, Cheers. Uh, so your information is everywhere and um, uh, very well put, very well put together. Um, so what is AI? That's a very deep question. Uh, in my uh, first book and also on our website, um, I have a very sophisticated and deep, as some people would say, um, definition of AI. and. Um, the, I recommend if you want to uh, look it up and go to our website, theaiorganization.com. And I'll get, make sure to put a link in the interview. Or you can go to the book. But for, for me to explain it, um, let me first explain it from a narrow uh, way. Because um, artificial intelligence is really uh, led recently by scientists who deal with AI. But in my view, there's other ways of looking at AI and maybe as a grander picture. But according to scientists, the ones who actually are working AI, for the most part. Uh, there's three levels of artificial intelligence. The first one is artificial narrow intelligence. So it just deals with um, like your smartphones, your Internet of Things, such as Siri, Alexa, things you're used to. Uh, something with a set, um, uh, set style of programs and coding and algorithms that you know what the result is generally going to be. It's not conscious. That's, that's mainly the big difference. The next level is AGI, artificial general intelligence. That means that you bring an AI into life. So a robot would become alive, have his own thinking, and, or, or not just a robot, it could be a digital, uh, it could be an avatar. The next level for them is artificial superintelligence. There's many ways to get to that. Um, some uh, is, is well known, uh, for instance, if you gather all the humanity's um, data, such as what Google and some governments are doing, um, not just facial recognition, voice recognition, but your DNA, your ancestry, um, the way you think and, and how the brain works, then you can put all that stuff in a quantum machine at some point and develop artificial superintelligence or bring it into life. However, um, there's other ways to do it as well, and I won't discuss how that works. <laughs> <Cheers>. <laughs> but but uh, um, even artificial general intelligence, there's a way to get to that a lot sooner. Very, very, I, I know how to get to it, um, how to put things together, but um, it can be very dangerous. So I believe bringing AI to life is not just uh, uh, in a scientific realm, but it could be a spiritual realm. And it can be something that uh, someone on, on them, on the religious side, would, would view as demonic because it has the capability to eliminate or extinct humanity in stages when it reaches AGI, or right away when it reaches artificial superintelligence. Uh, in, in a scientific sense, they don't use things as you know, demonic, demons, or satans, or these kind of things. They use a different uh, language. Um, oh, what if it wants to kill us because it, you know it sees us as, um, it, you know, as an antithesis to um, to the code that it wants to operate with? Or what if it just it wants to use us in a different way and just rules us? They don't think in that way. And then there's also a, a sci-fi way as well. And I, I can get into that. But, <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Um, so uh, if an AI became self-aware yeah. with intentions of power and control, do you think that would be good for humanity? No. And why is that? Because uh, human beings... Well, do you want someone uh, to, to potentially enslave you or control you? Definitely not. D uh, human beings, for the most part, they want to have free will, right? So then why would you give something that's a thousand times more intelligent than you that wants to control you, could <laughs> control you, it, it may eliminate you or enslave you in, in so many int intricate ways. 
I can explain this for hours, how it could happen. Um, it's already happening now in a narrow sense, and it's getting to our AGI, because we're dependent on our technology for, in, in terms of our perceptions. Our perceptions are controlled. Okay. Cheers. Um, yeah, that didn't sound good at all. Um, so um, the way AI is being used right now, um, is it good or bad in, um, in terms of national security? Could it be it's, better? It could be better. It's mostly on, on the getting to the bad side because they are developing it not just in the, in, for the military purposes. In China, they're doing it. Uh, in Russia, they're doing it. And of course, in the U.S. The U.S. wants to um, be the first in, in artificial intelligence in terms of uh, not just for health, but for uh, weapons uh, purposes to, to be the global leader because the next, the next weapon is not going to be nuclear. It's going to be artificial intelligence and quantum. And it deals with space force as well. I saw um, uh, in China, um, well, I read online, um, they're trying to be the world leader of uh, AI and um, they caught up um, tremendously and uh, they're actually doing pretty good. Um, if they were the world leader of AI, would that be a good or bad thing? The majority, For the USA. The majority of human beings will be enslaved and then lead to extinction. If the Chinese regime, so it's a communist regime. And you know, some people on the, uh, on the left side don't, are not against communism because they see it in a different way. Conservative side, they just hate the word communism, period. Um, and when the liberals use the word communism or they hear the word communism, they equate it with conservatives hating something that, that, that in a sense, they kind of like it. So here's the thing, China, they've been a communist country for over 70 years. And they, they've put people in slave camps. They've even killed them for the organs. So I'll give you an example. Uh, they're not just people of faith, but the first one that, that they've killed the most is the, the Falun Dafa meditators. They, they believe in Jen Shan Ren, truth, compassion, forbearance. Because they, they meditate and they do Qigong, their organs are sought after in China. And, and first they persecute, then they end up in camps. Then is that uh, because they're uh, clean yes. and healthy? Yes, yes. But they also did it to Tibetans because they've been persecuting Tibetans for 60 years. That's why Dalai Lama left um, to India and so on. And they've been uh, persecuting uh, Uyghur Muslims. Um, the genocide is just not with Uyghur Muslims. It has to do with against uh, the found off Tibetans, but also the Christians that, you know, a lot of people in, in the US and in the West, say half of them don't like Christians. And then Christians don't like, for the most part, people on the progressive side. It's like, uh, it's almost to a level of hate. And so when people um, in, in the tech hear that, that Christians are, are being persecuted, they're sometimes indifferent because innately, emotionally, they may not like them or they may have had a bad experience with them. And that hasn't been talked about. So it's, here's four main groups, Falun Dafa, uh, which is a spiritual practice, the Tibetans, Uyghurs, which is not just an Islamic practice, it's, it's, a, it's an ethnic group, then the Christians, which are just Chinese, in fact. And then the fifth group um, is really the common citizens who are not even religious. So scientists, if you're a CEO of a company, of a big tech company, um, you don't listen to the Communist Party. They, they come and take your home, they take your, your company, they, 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 they arrest you, and then they all send you to this place to kill your organs. Well, no, when they were uh, taking over Hong Kong, they were beating up and raping the kids who were protesting. Um, the Chinese Communist Party would threaten them. We'll send you to China. We'll organ harvest you there. They actually were threatening people. So why really. would you give someone who also released a bioweapon? Okay, hey, let's say they didn't release it on purpose, which I said from the beginning they're going to release it on purpose. And, you know, there's a huge track of what I did. No one in the world did what I did. And um, the, the main thing was that when they discovered it was coming out of this lab, they lied about it. So I, that, that caused so many people to die. And then they influenced so many people to say, oh, no, it's natural. And there were so many people going against it, too. Yes. So, so if you think about it, people who are running the mil their military and their regime, if they, don't, if, they don't, if they kill their own people and they put them in slave camps, what are they going to do to the Africa, to, to India, to, to the U.S.? You understand? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, so it's not it's not about China. It's not about Chinese people. It's about the regime, who and their gangster people who are in the Communist Party. See, the Communist movements have not been peaceful, and they've always led into ruin. Um, Russia, 
<laughs> they were in misery for 60 years. So many people were in gulags, but then this, uh, economics never worked. Uh, and then in Vietnam, you know, people, the whole world was coming to the U.S. because they don't want to be under communism. Unfortunately, when you come in capitalism, the capitalists usually abuse capitalism and they hurt other yes, people. Yes, that is true. And, For their and, own benefit. Yes, and then and then so communists, like, ah, you damn capitalists, because capitalists aren't really being capitalists. They are, they are abusing. They're actually the capitalists are actually the communists themselves, <laughs> it, because when you lie, you steal, cheat, or you abuse and take advantage of people, that's not capitalism. That's that's an unethical way of of doing things. Uh, that's why people develop these communist movements and the socialist movement because they're sick of people, um, uh, you know, having a monopoly on things. But that's what communists do. Communists get a monopoly on everything. So when they say they're capitalists, they're not really capitalists. They are actually communists. So the fact is, the communists actually hate communists, but they call them capitalists. That is so so, so I here, here's the thing. I believe in capitalism, but in a moral way. But capitalism in the U.S., when it gets big, it's always communism. <laughs> and there's so much complicity involved, man. Right, um, right. It's absolutely wild. Um, uh, right. You touched on children. Um, so uh, AI, um, could AI be used um, to stop trafficking online and offline? Yes, but here's the thing. The more we depend on, on AI, we, we lose our own freedoms because we need to have people in charge of things we need to have people doing things if you just have an AI system running around and making decisions and, and doing things well, what are people gonna do you just you will get bored of life if you don't have a job you'll be bored of life if you don't have anything to do well said. at some point you gotta uh, love what you do so if you don't you know so, everything is a job you have to go even eat your food it's a job because if you don't you're gonna starve to death unless you know how to survive without eating food uh, same with water right uh, if, if you don't go to sleep, after, you know, I went two years straight working 20 hours a day, seven days a week, the past couple of years, and um, some days, seven days straight, um, not sleeping. Because all the stuff I did, I haven't talked about in this interview yet, but um, because uh, at some point, if I keep kept on doing that, I would have probably maybe died. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, um, you know, I was Your information is well put together. I was 225 pounds just three months ago, and now I'm 170. Five, something like that. <laughs> so I, I, I'm like, okay, well, I haven't been sleep. I've been working, putting all these videos out and tweets and reports, and and it's mobilized the world about the talk about artificial intelligence, 5G, 6G, quantum, bioweapons, CCP, China, um, all these things I put out. Um, uh, so also as well, um, I've been seeing online um, defund the police, ACAP, 1312, those kinds of stuff. Um, is it possible if someone is online, um, whether it's on computer or their phone, and they're looking at that kind of stuff, right. could it uh, psychologically do something to them uh, through the AI algorithm? Yes. Uh, so whatever you, this smartphone is a weapon. It was designed from military projects, even from DARPA. And it's, it's not actually from human beings. It's from R4 technology, landed here, and they reverse engineered um, technology all our internet, our smartphones, our machinery comes from off for technology, in fact, UFOs. So this smartphone, when you, it's just like when you look at a television, your perceptions are altered when you look at it through a certain time. After, um, after viewing it for maybe a year or two, you may have a different thinking based on the movies you watch and music you listen to. Smartphones are more powerful because the way your news comes to you, a tweet comes to you, um, it also follows a certain algorithm. And these algorithms were designed by the certain people who have a certain way of thinking and they're coding. Maybe progressive is liberal or it could be in the middle or even could be a conservative. But even, so basically it could make you a liberal, it could make you conservative, it could put you in the middle. But that's not the, the, main, the dangerous part because, oh, you're offending me. You're saying I'm a liberal or you're saying I'm a conservative. No. What I'm saying is that it, because the way it's designed and the algorithms and all the impressions that it feeds your brain, after a certain time it alters your brain chemistry, that the thoughts that you have and the belief systems that you have, in fact, are, are programmed based on, um, based on uh, what you see in the smartphones because the smartphones also have electrical field, the kind of electrical field. So it's not just an algorithm process like, like a mouse that keeps on looking at stuff and it gets addicted to it. It also has a process of it altering your brain chemistry through its proximity sensors.
It's very deep. Gnarly. And um, also, um, does AI cost a lot to uh, implement into society? And um, it seems like with all the technology out there, um, AI is going to be there and um, technology is going to be there. But ultimately, I would say personally, it's not about um, trying to take away technology from the world because it can help it. It's just about making it in a good way. So um, does it cost a lot to implement it into a society? It, it talks, it costs a lot, but it costs a lot of infrastructure planning and development because it has to do with smart cities. Uh, smart cities involve uh, smart cars, um, uh, smart, uh, smart taxis, which, are, which fly, <laughs> not just on the physical, but they fly. So this whole AI system is to generate an interconnection between uh, our satellites and our smart cities, your smart homes, uh, and your IOTs, and even when you go into a shopping mall, you come in, it knows your face, says, good morning, uh, Mr. blah, 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 um, do you want this tea? So everyone thinks it's a cool thing, but the more that happens, the more surveillance there is. The more it, an AI system can take over and kill off humanity in the future, or you lose your, you're enslaved. Because you're saying, oh, my government wouldn't do that. My my police wouldn't do that. My military wouldn't do that. Uh, th this person wouldn't do that. Okay, the AI system wouldn't do that. But it's always people or an AI system. And it's of course, like, of course. Because if you give the power to control 7 billion people to one AI system or 10 AI systems uh, or 20 billionaires, so do you trust 20 people or 100 people or even 1,000 people? to decide the lives of 7 billion people. And according to all the whistleblowers out there that have said stuff about the military or CIA or FBI or NSA, the information is so prevalent. Um, well, here's the thing. I'm not against uh, uh, um, any intelligence community. They, they fulfilled their role in, in, in trying to be positive and protect, um, protect the world. At the same time, it doesn't mean they don't do bad things. I don't mean the, pe the agencies, but the people inside. They're like people, right? So you can have a good cop or a bad cop. You can have a good military person, you can have a bad military person. You can have a good FBI agent or a bad FBI yeah, agent. Yeah, and sometimes they're trapped in a bad environment. Yes, so it, the, the problem is really with people because you'll say, it was the CIA, oh, it was the FBI. <laughs> well, then, okay, then you go to every country, you'll say, it was this government, it's that government. <laughs> So, and the governments will blame each other. Right. Well, then you go, okay, then it's, let's get rid of the, the government. Then you look at it, you're like, okay, the 50 years ago, same thing. And 100 years ago, same thing. For the past 2,000 years of written history, everywhere in the world, they're always saying it's them, let's get rid of this government, it's this system. No, it's the damn people. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get rid of the people. Well, they put new people in there. Same thing happens. So <laughs> that means human beings have a real big issue. Everybody. <laughs> look at the, the, the you know, I, I, I don't watch much TV and... I don't actually. Um, I did watch the series uh, a bit, um, Game of Thrones. That's how people are in a digital sense nowadays. So and that's how people can be physically as well. When, when it comes down to uh, getting mobilized to move to fight people, or or if there's and less if there's food. further incentive, they'll do it. Yeah, but but there's the thing. You don't see it. There's a law in the universe. And when you do bad things, it comes back to you. Because, you know, on, on some part, the conservative side, they say they believe in God, they believe in spirit and soul. But then when people aren't looking, they'll do bad things. That means they don't really believe it. 100%. Be because if you have a soul, that means you're being watched. That means you're going to be punished later on. And on the liberal side, if, if, if they're not spiritual, there may be a, an atheist or a communist that will be like, you know, these guys are really dumb because if there was a guy, why does it happen over there? Why does it happen over there? Why does it happen over there? And, um, you know, why do we ever see it? Why is the universe... Da, da, da? So both of them are missing something. Uh, um, so in every ancient faith, whether it was the Zoroastrian faith of the Persians, the Western books, it's the Greeks uh, believing in the, uh, in the gods that are under one big creator. Um, the the Judeo-Christian Abrahamic faiths, which uh, which also in there has gods, but it says they, so that's what people don't know what gods mean. It actually means um, people who are divine. It could be a, uh, an angel. In Indian language, an angel will be a Buddha. It's because it's Sanskrit, it's a different language. Um, in, in Greek, they say, when, uh, in Greece, they had a story. When you die, you go to the river of forgetfulness. 
and, and then you drink the water and you forget for everything. Like, and then you move on to your next path. It's like, well, that's kind of like your spirit moves on. Then, then you go to Hopi Indians, like, yeah, your spirit moves on in the universe. Then the science is like, well, you never really die because you have, um, you have this. And then you look at the Chinese practice, the, the, the Falun Dafa, they're persecuting China. They believe that, um, not exact words, but in, in their book, John Fallon says that the, the, the you exists not just in um, not just in the molecular dimension. It says you exist in the atomic dimension, uh, and then in the neutrinos and quarks and so on. The founder of practice, Mr. Uh, Li Hongzhi, he said that. And then you go further down, you don't see. It means there's a, there's a digital layer of you in so many different uh, or soul. Then you look at Tibetans; they also they they believe similar things. Then you go back to the Christians; they're like, "Nope, we, God just put us here, and there's no past." Then why does the person over there um, is five years old and drops dead and dies, and the person over there um, suffers so much? The person over there he has a good life, and nothing ever happened. He lives nine years old. Why would God do this? Um, it's the plan. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, well, yeah, it's the plan, but there's something you're missing. Look in your Bible. What's it say about fallen? We're all fallen. That means you fell, right? Yeah, we did. Well, if you fell, doesn't it mean you had a past to fall? But no, 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 no. no it, my, pa my pastor didn't say it to me. Well, your pastor was born, right? Just like you, right? Where did he learn his stuff? He just looked at a book and whatever his people said. Well, oh, no, the, this, the, the, the spirit of the Christ moves everywhere. But here's the thing. Jesus' name wasn't Jesus, Yeshua. And he didn't say the word Christianity. The Romans created that because they were killing them, putting through alliance for 300 years. So you're missing something. It took something out of the gospel. And you're like, oh, look at the Old Testament. And what Old Testament says that he, he was risen again. I don't mean Jesus, but I'm talking about other people that came back. So it's like they had a past. And like, well, no, everyone's fallen and, and their spirit <laughs> never existed because, and they all suffered because Adam and Eve did some bad things, so all 7 billion people suffer. Then like, it, it, so, so you're, you're, but doesn't it say in your in, in your in your books more than half is not told? Then, then I can't ask that. Well, so it's like so. What am I trying to get at? Then you go to the uh, um, um, Japanese faiths, which comes from the Buddhism as well, uh, and so all all around the country, when they never spoke to each other, they had they had a thought, said that this world, this place, is like a simulation, like a scientist say. You're not able to see truth, the ultimate truth, you're not able to see if there's a alternate paradise, heavenly place, or a purpose for you to go, or a different universe where you don't age and you don't die. And you're put here because the, for a purpose, and that's to reach enlightenment, or awakening, or salvation through faith alone, as all the faiths say it. What does it mean, faith alone? That means you're never going to see it unless you get to a level, your journey gets to enlightenment. So it's like, that's the purpose of a human being. I get it. Okay. Then you're like, but I still don't get it. Uh, but, 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 um, then you're like, where's our spirit? How come I don't feel it? It's inside your body. Um, well, I don't feel it. Well, I've had experience with that. I've flown out of my body multiple times and uh, it's like electricity. I don't want to go too deep on this. And, and this, I'm trying <laughs> cheers, to be very, very, very uh, narrow, but here's the thing. So the reason actually a lot of atheists and communists hate hate the notion of God is because they don't understand this principle, but also because people who were in the religion, they didn't understand their religions, and they, they messed things up to make them hate religions and hate God. It's like, whatever that they are, whatever they say, I'm going to go against that. So do, you, you get it? Yeah, d yeah, uh, yeah. definitely. Uh, do you believe um, technology, AI, etc., cetera, um, is, uh, is a friend to religion or would ultimately um, uh, make it obsolete if it had an option? AI is a religion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's another it's another path um yeah, yeah, but it's a path that uh it's it, yeah it doesn't lead to a good thing because <laughs> it is religion yeah uh so um what are some of the most um the most used forms of ai in our current society um in the usa most used forms or useful forms both use first well it's generally artificial narrow intelligence but that useful, I always say they're using it for um, for better scanning purposes to find out if you if you have an illness somewhere, or if they can um, figure out how you're gonna do in maybe ten minutes, which would take uh, a physician two weeks to figure it out, because he would need to uh, look at all these scans and M M MRI and this and this, and then look through all those charts and 
and all these different possibilities and say, I think it's this. But they have AI systems now. Within 10 or 20 minutes, you can solve what a doctor may take two weeks to figure out in 10 minutes. In that case, if it's a life-threatening thing, it, it may save that person's life. So AI, I'm not saying AI is bad. I'm the founder of the AI organization. Definitely. Which, which, which means that it, it, it's an advisory on artificial intelligence and AI, and it's to oversee things, but it's not to destroy AI or get rid of AI. Does that make sense? 100% yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, AI can definitely be a good thing. Um, some people just use it in a bad way and um, ultimately um, can give some stuff a bad name bad, uh, with speculation and all different types of theories. Um, so also, um, what, is a, what is a positive way um, artificial intelligence can be used as um, national security um, in regards of um, safety? Um, <laughs> with, with safety, national security comes surveillance. The issue is, because other countries are, um, are weaponizing AI, the U.S. must weaponize AI in order to counter them. If they don't, they'll lose. But when they <laughs> weaponize, when they have an arms race, then they, they become surveillance states. Does that make sense? Definitely. So yeah. either way is bad. That's why the best thing to do is um, uh, not develop artificial superintelligence or even AGI. But a lot of people who are in AI, they grew up playing video games. They watch, you know, Star Trek, Star Wars, and that's what they want to do. They love it. They'll never think of the consequences. It's like this, this spy weapon out of China. I went everywhere saying there's a spy weapon coming. No one would listen to me. They would just take part of my, what I said uh, and, and use it for their own stuff. Oh, 100% and, and people are listening, world. though. Well, now they're listening, but um, I'm the only one on the planet who did it in a thousand different ways up until it got released and kept on doing it. During 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 his you know all the world's major leaders were paying attention to me, uh, President Trump, uh, Pompeo. Uh, Your information is everywhere, man. Uh, uh, and all all the major podcasters know every media outlet, every major they all know me. They yeah. all know what I put out. But <laughs> a lot of people um, in the media have been trying to suppress my suppress that I that I that I warned about the Wuhan um, bioweapon. And everything and, online, pretty much. If you spoke uh, about uh, Corona, if you spoke about Wuhan stuff, you would get your channel either deleted. You'd no, no, get no. subscribers. They're trying to. They're trying to. Uh, s they've been trying to suppress that it came from me, because they're trying to not only just hide it, but they're trying to uh, capitalize off it to make money and donation subscriptions. So basically, a lot of major podcasters or news outlets that I went to, and I said, "Hey, the world's people are in danger." Would you please um, uh, give me a chance to explain? Um, I've given this uh, report to the government that there's a bioweapon coming, and I, they they and I, I would hold the interconnections of AI chaos and they, and they look at me and they, or they wouldn't really put me on their show, and then a few months later they get together with their back friends and then they go we bring this important information bioweapon the great reset, and, and then um, we, we don't censor. <laughs> So, and everyone's like, yeah, you guys are great. I'm like, that's it. So you guys had a chance to either save lives or you had a chance to um, uh, to stop all this like surveillance and, and all the famines we had and, this, and all the suffering that people went through. But, and then after, then you, then you hit it and then you act like you're the good guy and everyone follows you. So it's like, so it's not just the mainstream media that's doing that. It's major, major podcasters. And uh, well, uh, uh, uh you, uh, your, uh, and your, Twitter accounts. Yeah, at, definitely at, Twitter. At, yeah, yeah. Um, um, well, uh, your posts and um, uh, your information holds uh, it holds high intelligence, and as your numbers climb, that's why personally I think maybe uh, the suppression's coming. And uh, with those topics, it's like um, people make um, they only care about money and usually themselves, and they act like maybe um, they're a caring person to the reality created because that's how they have to do what they do. But um, yeah, but, uh, your numbers go up. Um, speaks for itself, <laughs> basically. Um, also, as well, um, uh, if an AI, uh, if an AI uh, became self-aware, um, and uh, do, uh, do, do, uh, do you believe it would take over the planet if it had a complete choice? Yes. Would it, uh, how many people uh, would be alive? A rough amount. If it decided to, less than 1%. And those people who would be alive, they would be... Uh, enslaved mentally. Yeah, they, they would realize they're enslaved, but they would be enslaved mentally. 
Cheers. Um, it's like cattle. It's like using cattle. Yeah, and uh, also, uh, cheers. Also, uh, so you mentioned Siri. Um, so uh, I see people online sometimes they ask Siri questions and stuff, and um, some uh, people are interested in it. Um, uh, when they ask, when they ask Siri an odd, uh, when you ask Siri a question, it'll be either an odd answer or else it'll be, it won't answer it at all. Does that that would mean that someone programmed Siri to be like that? Correct. Everything is a program. There, either someone, Do you think life is a program? Uh, yes, but it, it it involves free will. It's very very complex to explain. Um, it's a combination of free will, free. Uh, this, you know, this took me twenty years to get to. I, I shouldn't say it. Um, you know, you, people need to enlighten to think of themselves because everything here, if everything is explained to people, then you don't get uh, the reward of, I don't mean working for it, but to experience yourself. Let me give you an example. When I was like in my teens, right, um, early teens, 12 years old, uh, the internet was just coming out. But if I was going to go visit somewhere, they would say, it's like this, and the people are like that. Okay. So I go visit it, I said, ah, it's maybe a nice place, it may not be, right? But now you're just like, okay, over here is like this, here's the kind of people, okay, and here, here's the buildings, blah, 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 let's go see it. When you go there, you may still enjoy it, right? You, because it helps you, you know, the weather, you can book the place you wanna go to, you have reviews, but it's not a surprise. You, you don't get the same feeling that, um, um, you know, there was books before, people talking about it, but still, like, when you can visually see everything, it's not the same feeling as you go there and you experience a wonderful world that you've never seen before. So if you go to a country, uh, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, 100%. So, but this is more, it's more valuable. How, if you just plug into a machine, like what Elon Musk wants to do, and download abilities to you, at, at the beginning, you, you'll be like, this is cool, right? And I, I did, you know many years of martial arts since I was five years old. I, like normal people, I did, you know, karate, taekwondo, um, kung fu, juke kundo, these kind of things. But um, I, I did some other things, but that's just normal stuff that anyone can do. Then I went to China to live with fighting monks. Then I, uh, first I was there, I went, I went to Shaolin. I didn't that had know what, so cool. I didn't know what internal was. And, and then, well, I thought about it because I've seen it in movies. I wanted to learn it, but I didn't know exactly. Then, then it taught me meditation in Qigong, and, and, and then they taught me um, um, Bakwa, which is, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a walking, it's a walking, uh, um, uh, it's a walking uh, method with certain movements, but it's so deep. I have to figure a long time to explain it. Um, I also learned Tai Chi. Not just a small, you know, slowly Tai Chi you, 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 you would sense when people do things, but it, it's a combat style, very, very different. I also learned bachi, which is um, it's dragon and bear movements, but it's very, very powerful. It's internal. I also learned pigua, pigojong, which is, um, they say that if you put pigua and bagua together, or um, baji, um, it's, a, it's a term they have. Not to say I should be afraid of me or something, but that gods and demons will be afraid of your footsteps, something like that. I don't know. But because uh, you, you use the universe's... Um, it's getting very, very deep. Uh, <laughs> so, so feel free, so, please. Uh, so I, I, I've had a lot of experiences, things like, you know, in them, because it's in the mountains, and I, I train 18 hours a day, seven days a week. So I went through so much experiences, even with my third eye opening and, and other stuff. And um, I was open as a little kid, but it got really advanced. So I've had a lot of experiences. But I experienced those and I enlightened to it. So if I'm going to tell you something that I've experienced, explain you how it is and this is what it is, you will, you will miss your path to be able to experience it yourself. So if you're asking me, is it a program or is it free will, I'll just tell you uh, a little bit. It's a little bit, a little of both. There is a destiny in your life and um, it can be changed. And, uh, you know, and the purpose of being a human being is all these fates. Like so, um, in, in the Bible and Judeo-Christian, it says salvation. In, in the uh, in the Catholic sense, it also is, it's also reincarnation because um, when you go to purgatory, um, so you have died, but your soul has gone or your spirit has gone to purgatory. That means you still didn't go to heaven. You have to recycle yourself. So you go up. In the Buddhism, you die, you go straight up, but you can't ever kill yourself. 
if you do that you won't go up it'll be you, you'll be in it you'll be a ghost somewhere so suffering your, your digital self so don't ever do something like that uh, <laughs> thank but, you <laughs> but um everyone but everyone don't ever do that you think if you have a bad life here if you do something like that you will not uh, you will not ascend so the purpose of being a human being and also um uh, uh, the Greek paths and Gnostic Christian paths and um, the found of spiritual practice and then the Tibetans, uh, they believe the purpose of a human being, your purpose in life is not just to have friends, which is good to have friends, not just to have a workplace or a career, which is good, not, to, not, not just to enjoy life, but to have this journey and have the suffering that you've had, the tribulation that you had, to want to have a wish in your heart to achieve in life. And then to really achieve enlightenment, Amazing. to be awakened. Does that make sense? 100%. And there's many levels of it. There's so many levels of it. And it has to do with dropping down emotions and fear and so many different things and being a good person. Uh, and Because there's a code in the universe and, and you can't see that, but it aligns with the language of, of, of good. Yeah, crea creation is uh, like the ultimate, man. Um, um, doesn't matter if there's satellites and super advanced technology, etc. Whatever is out there, creation created everything. So, um, whatever anyone wants to believe, uh, welcome them and love them all. But ultimately, uh, uh, people who um, I don't know, it's better to believe in something than not to believe in anything. So, um, I also wanted to add. Um, so AI, um, since um, I see a lot of reports online that it takes pretty much um, almost everyone's information on the planet. Um, how much uh, uh, does it take much to be able to store that data? Or since it's um, since it's uh, so well so so sought after, um, it's it would be a, um, not even an investment. There's many of. ways to store it. You can store it in, <laughs> in, in, in databases and computer databases. You can store it in the cloud, but there's other ways you can store it too. I'm not going to reveal how that is. If, Thank they, you, if I do, then governments will do that in the future. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, there, there's so many. Um, you know, I know how to develop an AGI. If I had, if I took Elon Musk and a few other people and put them together, and a couple of government people, and I said, "Bring me this and that," I will, I will form an AGI for you within three days. I know how to do that, but I won't because, <laughs> because, because it will, uh, it, it will not be good for humanity. We can't get along right now. You see how many all the hatred that people have for each other? Is it, it could, could, <laughs> could it could it be that some uh, people in the universe um plan on creating that hatred for a certain agenda reasons? Yes. Yes. Watch my movie, AI, The Plan to Invade Humanity. And then you just watch people fight each other and well, it's like you're supposed to be uniting with people. Um, yes. Uh, well, I put that out. It's about UFOs and aliens. And I tweeted to the Pentagon and to the president within three days, all the UFO stuff came out last year. And then in December 2020, before Trump was leaving office, all the chaos they had, I did a tweet to him again. I'm like, Okay, why don't you release all the UFO files? Right away, he goes and puts an order in to declassify all the stuff. Because I've actually seen these files in 2003. I've, I've shown Very not cool. just images of the crafts. I've seen what the people, they're not people. I've seen, the, <laughs> I, I've seen, well, you can say they're people, but they're not humans. Life forms. Maybe not even Most life forms. Most of them are reptilian. Uh, uh, they don't look like humans. In every phase, it says we're a maiden image of the creator. We're different. So, yes, I've seen these files and images. I have technology that scans and it detects UFOs. That's why my movie, it shows, it says that they're so fast, the military can't see them, and they fly out of the ocean. Watch my movie, AI, and, The Plan to Evade Humanity. It's on our website, T H E A I. Or it's on, uh, on demand for three bucks. You can rent it. And I definitely will put a link in the description. Um, uh, so also on um, uh, in, the, in religion, they speak about serpent. They speak about lyrans. They speak about uh, uh, so, or, or many, many, many different types of things. Um, uh, Zetas, um, uh, all different types of stuff. Um, uh, uh, what if um, aliens, uh, ETs, UFOs, USOs, uh, etc. Came to the planet. What do you think would happen if they if, if they're already here? If they revealed themselves, they're already here. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's such an interesting topic. Uh, okay, and um, any last question? Because uh, we could have ended with that one. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say it. I'm sorry about the.
you know, I've got this suit and, and, and I didn't match you, but, uh, no, it's okay. um, you know, I do this because I have the company, I'm trying to be formal, but you know, it doesn't matter if you wear a suit, if you wear a t-shirt, um, and you, wh whatever your color is, if you're atheist, you're, if you're a theist, you're special. That's what, that's every, every human right is on. special. So I put this in there too as well. This last part.